Hello everyone, we're back again with another episode of Danganronpa. It's going to be a longer session, and it's also at night. It's a currently a midnight hour, dark hour, which I wouldn't even call it. If it is the dark hour, please don't forget your evokers. We're going to go on with a kind of Wari, because we have to with her. I should have showed you it, but I can still show you it here, the report card. Here's where we stand. We're only missing three people now, Gundam, Akane, and Ibuki. So we're getting close. And we got a lot of skills we gotta go over later. I mean, we're getting there. You're 37, we got only three missing, to be honest. So yeah. Let's start hanging out with her. Everyone outside of the house is currently sleeping, except for one person inside. I'll let you guess who that is. Shut up. We know. I I think there might have been something new. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember. Let's see. This is our, currently our third meeting. I already have the list up of what I need to give her. Let's see. I only got one of these. I don't want to give that up yet. Hmm. There's a lot of things I could give her. Ah, uh, these will do. <laughs> Oh, you're giving this to me? You know me so well. Thanks. You look pretty bummed. Are you even eating? Um... Hank? I sell propane and propane accessories. My name is Hajime. You only got the H right. You know, it's Ha. She got both H-A, you know, both... Hank and Hajime both start with H, so give her credit for two letters. More importantly, why are you so full of energy? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? There's yummy food, soft blankets, my room doesn't leak when it rains. Oh my god, poor girl. This place is very better than where I grew up. Seriously? Even in this kind of situation? It huh? You know how it is. It's not that strange to find a dead body at the dump in the morning. Are you honestly living in the slums, you poor woman? Oh my god, I have a feeling that you have some... You are you really are better off here after what I see in Chapter 4. In here, it's like... I just want to hug you, not because of... Uh, you know, but how you grew up, man. Where are you from? Mm. A trashy place where crabby people are all swept together. Stuff like that happens all the time. How can you say that? Like, like it's no big deal. What kind of environment was she raised in? You know, anyway, since you never had any money, I did whatever I could to earn cash. Oh, you poor girl. <laughs> I even saw my used panties as noisy pig who kept winking. Panties, panties. Ah, uh, oh my god, poor girl. By the time I was able to legally work part time, I didn't have to run away anymore. So when you mentioned parkour before, you were talking about that. I probably just laid the foundation for being a gymnast. What kind of part time jobs that you do? But you probably did stuff like manual labor. Yeah, manual as in someone. <laughs> huh, well, I did a lot of things. For some reason, my mom's boyfriend's always pushed me into doing weird jobs. Huh? <laughs> At first, one of them told me all I needed to do was serve food. But I never expected he'd tell me to do it like that. Pretty sure I kind of talked about being a waitress, but... God, what kind of waitress? What do you tell her to do? Definitely not that. Definitely not that. And it is definitely... Oh, wait. It is this. Really? I thought it was... I would have called that wrong. I was going to say cosplay. Huh? What happened? Uh, well... Well, anyway, I didn't know what to do. I mean, he told me to do it without my panties, you know? Doesn't make sense, right? 
There's no way I could do something like that. Uh, of course! <laughs> right? That would definitely make your stomach cold. And your loins raging on fire. <laughs> That's not the issue! Timmy. What? Man, you're annoying. Talking to you made me hungry again for some reason. <laughs> Alright, it's time for me to have my fourth meal. Oh, she's going to Taco Hell. How you said that? I kind of walked away in a hurry. What kind of pets does she have? I'll be honest, the Taco Bell in my town isn't that bad. Of course, it's mixed with the KFC. Probably is the kind of decided to leave the area for now. Some grilled chicken from there isn't bad every once in a while. Yeah, shut up, we know. A new morning! A morning filled with hope! Oh, yeah, Nagato seems to be feeling pretty good. <laughs> Yay, Java Croquettes! Good for us. You know, this part where you can't really rage out, unfortunately, so you're gonna get a little quieter. It's not gonna be as big a uh, woohoo. Or not even an epic what. Okay, what do we need for wood? So we got six and zero. So we need to go half and half at the moment, okay. Hmm. Getting there. Oh, you poor thing. Actually, oh well. You guys haven't noticed, I'm not too mad about that. Those for later, says the smart one. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Boys are going out to the forest. Hunting Bigfoot. Uh -huh. Shoot, I have to be Nakito today. AI chip and iron play, okay. I made a small engine. Oh no, I need to find a small engine. Why would I make one? Oh, I was thinking about... No, no this one, yeah. Yeah, I need a vacuum robo. That's the only one I haven't gotten from that list. That's the only one I can't make. But for now, I'll do it. <sighs> Excuse me. It's not gonna hurt too bad, I'll just use that next mission. Boys out. Girls in. I don't mind having no one work on clean today. I can work with it. The one time only that they get to join us. Well, the cleaners will get to join us. We mean, Nagito and Mikan are going back to cleaning after this. I'm not scared. I'm not mad. I'm actually comfortable with this because look at that log and nail counter. They're zooming. It's amazing. Plus, Nagito looks funny. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Who should I talk to today? Mm, we'll go to normal. We gotta go to normal. Wait, am I going the wrong way? I think I'm going the wrong way already. 144 left on the pet. I gotta raise a few of them. I might do a couple laps around at the end of the session. Just to raise a pet up. 
Okay, there we go. Akane Owari. I bet some people like to take her onto the putting green and give her four. Or go for the hole in one. Oh, I, there is new... I didn't read the text. I just noticed it is different. I think it's the same as last time. Well, the last one, I'll just... Transcript. This island is... It's full of mysteries. Maybe a tower that reaches the heavens. Or strong dudes sealed up in an electric jar. Alright, doesn't matter what it is. Let's go find it. The world is full of treasure. I spent time today getting dragged around by Akane while we searched for treasure. It looks like we grew a little closer. I was thinking about maybe doing it next time. But I just want to make sure just in case, you know, one of those things. Security deposit. It's the last minute change of plans. Now, which one were that? Is that one? Um, where is it? Oh, I'm on it now. Okay, perfect. Oh, this one, this one. I gotta have this one. So I got one of these. I'll be good to go for ten days. Mm. Hey, you. You're, like, really small. Um... Uh, Harvey? I'm not an invisible rabbit, but meet my friend Oswald. It's Hajime. <laughs> Alright, that's it. I was close, though. Anyway, are you even eating? I don't really have much of an appetite, but I am eating regularly. Mm. I see. And it's okay. Where I see small things that don't look like they're eating much, I can't help feeling worried. Can't survive if you don't eat when you can, you know? Well, it's true. It's true that eating is necessary, but are you going a little overboard? But of course not. That's normal back home. Hey, Akane. I've been worrying about this for a while, but about your home. Huh? It's not that big of a deal. The only major difference is I have about seven little brothers and sisters, and my parents don't work. The, uh, the only thing? What the heck? You know, every time you get a new mom or dad, you get new siblings too. Well, that's why I don't really know exactly how many siblings I have. That's really messed up. Dang. Then, you took on part-time jobs to help support your family? <laughs> yep, I gotta feed the little ones, you know? Oh. When I have my waitressing gig, I sometimes steal. I mean, borrow leftovers to bring home. I got paid an hourly wage, I also got tips too, which is pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, I got to keep my panties on too. I didn't like customers more about me either. At least you have some class. Of course! Mm -hmm. oh, why are you so mad? I mean, you're a girl. Don't talk about keeping your pants on so casually. Oh, uh, I see. Um, I'm sorry. No. Um, I'm sorry too. I shouldn't have asked such personal questions. Uh, this is so awkward. Ugh. Huh, I remember now. I've been yelled at like this before. Back when I was waiting tables, this weird old dude who used to come all the time. He was a gymnastics coach. I wasn't really into sports, and especially not gymnastics. <laughs> but no matter how much I punched and kicked him, he was pretty persistent. In fact, he looked like he was enjoying it. He kept telling me I had an amazing body. He's seriously a gross old dude. <laughs> Maybe him I was able to move out with my siblings and find a new home for us. I see. I think that's good though. Yeah. I'm gradually starting to understand Akane a little better. I was reporting an update based on experience with her. Oh, poor girl. 
I feel bad, but at the same time, I'm glad she's okay. Stay around awkwardly and went back, and I went back to my cottage. You know that whole thing. I know. Thirty-nine. Look at our hat. Look at our cleanliness. Oh, don't be afraid. Yay! She's going to do that twice as much today. She's feeling pretty good. Oh. Let me just make one of these. Hmm. Five. Huh. <laughs> Done. Hmm. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I'm not worried. Girls are working that. Get back on clean duty. And attack. Crystal and magical and magic powder, or whatever it was. Oh, I only have a gift from there. Well, only two. If I went to the wrong place, it doesn't matter. I'm just getting stuck. Hey guys, hi guys. Hello. Let's see, you I need how many more? Oh yeah, we're on our fifth meeting. Yeah, let's spend some time together. Even if you can do this one late, I'd do like the security backup. Yeah, I could have done it okay. Not mad. Not mad. Sentry Potpourri or you package your Zoto for the win? Hmm. 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 I'll do it. This is awesome! What the heck is it? <laughs> you giving this to me for free? I feel kind of bad. <laughs> Thanks. Man, I'm starving. I'll save the good stuff for next time, guys. Hey, let's go find some food. Um, <laughs> Hector? Hajime. I want to believe she's just playing with me and doing this on purpose. Hey, Hajime, I found a place that might have a lot of awesome things. Come on, let's go. Kind of grabbed me by the arm and dragged me to... The storage room inside the old building. Uh, oh. Mommy let you in if you just ask her. She sure is a pushover. Found that there's canned food here. Isn't that awesome? There's no one here you can... I mean, borrow as much as you want. I don't think you need to worry about it even stealing. I think you're just free to take it and head back to your room, same with the supermarket and everything, but if you're gonna be like that, I mean... <laughs> it's a canned food party. 
Connie's eyes lit from being surrounded by food. She sort of looked like a little kid. If she looks this happy, it's hard for me to want to stop her. <laughs> Skuh. These don't make sense. The only thing I can do is stuff my face. There's nothing can get eaten with my body. That's why I feel like I'm alive. That's all I need. It's very okay. I think, but is that really okay? Who? People think things are never that simple. She might have something on her mind. I feel like she's trying to convince herself. Maybe what she really means is... And do 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 do. Are you worried about something? Huh? What are you talking about? I don't really worry about things. There's no way to ever worry about anything. Really? Everybody has things they worry about. You'll feel hesitant or uneasy, and sometimes you just need to vent it out. That's wrong. I'm not that weak. Connie swung her arm and hit and hit the light switch. It's only dim, but I should still be careful. Ow! I've already walked into a shelf. Huh? What's that white thing? Oh no. Yeah. Huh? I saw him made to turn on the light and... I saw a kind crouched on the ground trembling next to a white sheet. I fell from the shelf when I walked into it. Get ghost. That's not a ghost, it's just a sheet. Liar! I'm not lying, see? Look at your feet. Right. Forget about what you just saw just now. Huh? If you tell anyone, I'll kill you. If I even catch you thinking about it, I'll kill you. Uh, get you for this. I don't know if I should remember this or forget about it. I never thought I'd ever see a kind of make a face like that. This boy an update based on your experience with her. Aww. For some reason, my heart was still racing, so I left the area. I feel kind of bad for her. Today's special segment for the closing argument, or whatever you want to call it right now. I call it closing statement because, well, you know. Because the game is the actual storyboard for the executions. That's right. We got the one for Monami in the first chapter. There wasn't one for her in the actual movie segment. So that's nice. We got the chapter one. And you can see how they're storyboarding and everything. Is, even the bell being hit by Monokuma's being well tagged. You really want to make sure that sticks. We even got how Monokuma actually set up Teru Teru and everything. Drop and how everybody reacts. And even Monokuma actually enjoying it. We got a little thing at the bottom showing... Looks like it's previews of how they were supposed to look. And, uh, we got, let's see, where... There isn't one for Chapter 2, is there? No, there's only 3 and 6. Wow. Oh, there's 5. I don't see... I don't think there's one for Chapter 2, guys. That might be how last minute was planned. You can see Chapter 3, they have... One of our fav, well, another good one. They're starting to fill them in a little bit slowly. You can see some of the digital models finally starting to take shape. You can see how it's Mekon, it's a small one. We got chapter 5 to please insert coin, which is the only one we can actually read. You can see how they really plan to be Tetris. And how they're. It was pretty much as expected. So that should be no surprise. I got chapter 6 with the 3D models. You can see Junko and her getting punished. And about to go boom. Except that she's a lot taller in this one. You can see where they got their plans. 
Unfortunately, there, like I said, there's none for chapter 2 in here, but thanks to the prologue, so trade off. It's a short one today because there isn't that much, so next episode we're going to go into the next section. I hope you have fun, and I'll see you on the next one. See you then.